Well, some exciting news for the Idaho Steelheads yesterday as Mark Rassel, who joins me to my right, is back here in Boise. And Rass, first off, welcome back. Yeah, it's great to be back. I'm uh, very excited to be back in Boise, especially to play some home games. I feel like I haven't been playing a home game in, in 2024 with all the road games we were. Then I went up, so it's good to be back. I'm real excited for, for Friday, hopefully a sellout crowd tonight. It will be a sellout crowd. I can I can confirm that. I just confirmed that sellout crowd tonight. Uh, traveled back from Texas yesterday. It seemed like a little bumpy landing, maybe. Yeah, just not fun on a, on a flight when you're just getting tossed around midair, and you know, of course, you know, minor league travel. You're sitting in the back of the plane, so you're getting tossed extra. Landed in Salt Lake was rough. You know, not a big fan of the landing. You know, maybe a new pilot there, and then. Salt Lake the entire time, just getting thrown around to the point where, you know, at one point I think we were turning, but I looked out the window and it was just the sky above me. So there was a chance we were going down. Credit to the pilots uh, landing in that uh, monsoon yesterday. And then the Uber driver decided that he wanted to do the same thing with the gas brake, gas brake system. So I was just getting tossed and turned yesterday. So you know, I, I'm physically ready for whatever's coming tonight, I think. Well, and you're a little bit of a celebrity, too. I was pulling up our Instagram last night. We had a tagged post, uh, a selfie of a fan with Mark Russell. Kind of a celebrity around these woods yeah i was like i said right at the back of the plane and i actually switched seats i was the very back row but a, a woman wanted to sit next to her husband so i got to go three rows up and during that process a woman tapped me and asked if i was mark rassel i said i was she got you know she was very excited to meet a steelheads player which is always fun in the in the wild to, to meet the fans she asked for a photo and i i think i just said now and she came up right in the aisle took a selfie put it on instagram but it was fun like she was you know, obviously uh, like, like all of our fans super friendly out in public and you know it was great to talk to her and you know talk steel talking and you know just showed how excited she was for me to come back and i hope you know most of the fans are the same well it must have been the hair uh that she recognized that and that leads me into my next question it seems like you're growing it a little bit back here they have a shortage of barbers down in Texas, or what's the situation there? Yeah, no barbers in Texas, unfortunately. Um, it's getting wild. Haskinen's hair is wild. Becker's not looking that great either. So the guys are struggling. I thought about getting a haircut, but playoffs is coming around, and maybe I might just let her go. I haven't quite decided, but you know, right now it's coming out the ear loops, my helmet, and it's it's a whole thing. And you know, maybe it'll distract someone looking at the, at the wings, and you know, maybe it'll be an advantage for me tonight. We'll find out. Let's shift the focus here. Obviously, you signed a, a tryout with the Texas Stars on February 18th, so you've been gone for quite a while, played 13 games and, and four goals. How did you feel uh, you played up in the AHL? Yeah, I was, I was comfortable, and I think you know this one compared to Calgary was nice because it's the same system, same organization. So I knew more people going into it. Obviously, there's some steelheads up there that start with, like, Mastro Becks. Haskey joins. A lot of was there for a bit. Uh, Tomer was up. So it was... It was uh, an easier transition, I'd say, with this one because, like I said, the systems were good. I thought I played well. Um, you know, it's fun to, to get rewarded with, with good play down here and to, to go up and, you know, earn those opportunities. And then when you're up there, actually, you get rewarded. You know, it's just, it's just good, uh, you know, good for the heart to feel good to about, you know, earning it and then proving yourself that you can play in that league. So that being said, some guys got back healthy there. And, you know, unfortunately, I was the guy that had to come back down. But... It's not, not not a bad thing at all to be back in Boise, you know, playing in front of 5,700, I think it is. And, you know, just an incredible group of guys down here. And, you know, we're going on a, going on a run here, playoff push, just, you know, four games left. It's, it's exciting to get back into the mix here right before the playoffs start. Let's look at that. 29 goals for you this year, 39 games. Tonight will be your first game back since middle of February. You just kind of alluded to it right there. Four games left in the regular season before you get ready to playoffs. We've talked uh, throughout the whole week with various different uh, players, coaches as well. These four games, you can't finish any worse. You can't finish any uh, better than second place in the Mountain Division. So how does Mark Russell look at these final four games uh, getting ready for playoff hockey? For me, it's just about comfortability, uh, getting used to you know the line mates and the guys down here, the systems we play. They are a little bit different, and then the style of play is a little bit different. So, getting back in the league, getting comfortable, you know, making trying to make some more plays, uh, play with a little more confidence up here uh, than I would uh, in, in Texas to you know try to create some offense. Is obviously that's a role that I take pride in here, and <clears throat> wasn't exactly what I was needed to do up there. Uh, so yeah, it's it's just to get you know get your feet wet again, and you know get used to the guys, and you know. And, Get ready to go on a run, I guess. Rass, as always, we appreciate the time. Great chatting again and uh, catching up. I know we've stayed in touch, but nice to be face-to-face -face and have some fun tonight. Yeah, it's it's just, I mean, we text all the time. We text during Steely's games when I'm trying to get the inside scoop on guys. And, you know, it's just nice to see your mug again. Thank you.